Hey, what's up, daywalkers, fellow travelers of the night, and all you Spartans out there. Today we're going to look at the first of two things that we purchased off of the Jazzwares Vault website, which I'll put a link to down below. If you were out there and you were collecting the Halo Jazzwares figures like we were, I would say you want to follow that site pretty closely because it looks like that's where these figures are going to live from now on. I never did see Series 5 or 6 in any of the stores here in Florida, so I missed out on a ton of them. So I'm really excited to open the next box because it has a lot of the Series 5 and one Series 6 figure, I think two Series 6 figures, in that box. So we'll get there in the next episode, but for this one, we're going to open this guy out and check out what he is. So if you already know, you know, but for those who don't, stay tuned. And there he is in all his Halo 4 glory. Check that out. That is awesome. Man, we're going to open this guy and check out the details even closer. But for now, this packaging, this box, everything is really, really cool. I like that it was a box within a box and then another box. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Kind of like Russian nesting dolls in a way. But uh, this was neat. This was the one Halo armor for Master Chief that we didn't get. If you picked up the entire series, um, if you were lucky enough to get Series 6, you got the Halo 5 Master Chief. And so for me, I never got that one, so I'm still missing him. But they did Halo 1, 2, 3, and 5 in infinite armor for this character. And now we finally get Master Chief in Halo 4. And it has a number here on the side, number 1, which means hopefully there's going to be a long line of these that are direct to consumers on this website. And maybe like once or twice a year, maybe three times a year if we're lucky. Every quarter they could release a figure like this. I think he only ran like 20 bucks or 25 bucks, something like that. It was, tw no, it was 20, I think. And what a good deal. Like, I mean, these figures are normally when you bought them, they were around like $11.99 or $12.99 a piece. But I don't mind paying a little bit extra knowing that I'm going to get the figure. <laughs> it certainly beats paying eBay prices and stuff for them. So I'd much rather do this and support the line and keep it going. So if you're out there and you do collect these or you want to start collecting them, this is a good place because it's figure number one and these are limited. So go to that website quickly and pick up a figure as soon as possible to start your collection. And what a good one to start with because I actually really like Halo 4. Um, I think probably ODST is my favorite. Reach a very close second, but out of the main Halo games with Master Chief, 4 is up there for sure. Probably my absolute favorite, although I really do like 2 and 3 also. So yeah, I don't know. It's hard to pick. These games are really good, but I like that they did this and I'm really glad they're starting off this series by completing the armor that we were missing from the last series. So let's open them up and check them out real quick. And here he is. I just want to do a quick test on him and grab the torso here and kind of wiggle. See if there's any loose joints. You know, some areas in his leg are moving a little bit, but that's okay. As long as it's not like flopping around or anything like that's how you know the joints are good. Look at that movement there in the arm um, and the elbow. Yeah, that's good. And then I think the hands turn as well. They do. Um, same on both arms, obviously. And there's a joint so they can bend the elbow. They can move the arm around. I like that they gave him more space around the shoulders so you can kind of give him more mobility there. That looks really cool. Um, he's still got the peg in the back, so you can put his weapon, which in this case is the light rifle from Halo 4, which I really like this gun in that game. Um, and it kind of pegs in there. Luckily, they put a long peg on it, so that way it could fit and get around this jet pack that he has, or thruster pack. So, yeah, really cool looking. Um, and, of course, it goes in his hand pretty easily. Most of these figures were, you know, I never had too much of a problem of putting the weapon in the character's hands for the most part. And with this one being so big, you kind of need his arms to come out a little bit and hold it. And so let's see if we can't get that to have, oh, it looks like we can. And look at that, not too difficult either to have him two hand this, pretty great. And then the head mobility, it goes up, moves around. Nice mobility there in the legs, in the knees, foot moves around, up and down. Yeah, this is really, really awesome. They did a great job on this guy, like the details on him too, the paint with that extra coating of green on there to kind of separate the look from the Halo 5 armor and the Halo 3 armor. Um, just really, really awesome. Yeah, I like this a lot. Like they, I like these Jazzwares figures. When these first started coming out, the price point was perfect um, to collect because I was like, man, you can get a whole wave of these for 50 bucks, 60 bucks and you'll get like five or six characters. And then they had the vehicles, which were very reasonably priced, which I have a ton of those. Um, and I actually have all of, for the most part, minus a couple multi-packs, I think all of series one through four. And like I said, minus like a, a two pack or two. Um, but I have a lot of them. And I missed out on the San Diego Comic-Con one, unfortunately, because the lines for it, I didn't go this year or last year in 2023, but I had a friend go 
And he's like, dude, I can't get anywhere near the front of that line to get you one of those warthogs. I'm like, yeah, that's okay. Don't kill yourself. Like, it's not worth it. I mean, you know, I'll find one on eBay at some point. They'll drop in price. And I think right now they're around 100 bucks. So, yeah, it's a little bit more than they were at Comic-Con, but that's not a bad price for them. So maybe I'll track one down on eBay at some point when I have the money. But I, I do like these figures, and I'm so glad that they're going to continue this line because I was really worried it was dead. I, I wasn't seeing them at Targets or Walmarts, and I kept seeing people online posting, you know, like, oh, I got this, you know, profit two pack. I'm like, what a profit two pack <laughs> with Tartarus. Like when did that come out? You know, and there's just so many things I, I lost track of because when I'm not seeing them, that's the kind of collector I am. Like I'll look for stuff online sometimes, but when I stop seeing them in stores, I, I, you know, it's out of sight, out of mind for the most part. So I'm glad I randomly came across a post for this figure and the one we're going to look at, like the box set in the next video. So let me know what you think. You know, I just want to show them off real quickly. It's not a super detailed review or anything, but I just wanted to open them up and just so I can start putting them on my shelf and have them lined up with the other, you know, Master Chief armors that I have. And so that's what I wanted to do. And I'm glad I got to open them up and check them out and show them with you guys, you know, show them off to you so that hopefully you go buy one because I want this wave to thrive and I want these limited edition figures to sell out and I want them to go to other places in the world because I think right now it's a US release and they're seeing how it goes and I just would love this line to continue. They're doing really cool stuff with it. I like the play sets they are kind of like the, the plates they come with and then like some of the accessories they've done and the weapons and like it, they're doing a great job on this. And I love that each character comes with a different weapon. So if you're collecting weapons like I do for this series, um, it's fun. I can put any weapon now in Master Chief's hand that are from certain games. So I'd like to see more Halo 4 stuff. I'd love to see a Didact figure at one point. Um, yeah, please. And some Prometheans. So Let's make it happen. Go out there, Spartans, and pick some of these up if you can. They are awesome. So let me know what your thoughts are down below, and we'll keep talking as always down there. And if do you have any of these, any set from, uh, you know, the Halo Jazzwares, if you have any of them, let me know which one's down below, which ones are your favorite, and we'll talk more in the comments. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Master Chief out.